Hey guys, welcome to the Massive Iron Channel. I'm Steve Shaw. In this video, I'm going to give you six, six amazing exercises that'll help you amplify your testosterone gains. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. What I'm going to do in this video is talk about over and underweight and the problems with being over and underweight when you're trying to build muscle. Before I get into that topic, if you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. The best topic ideas I turn into videos just like this. All right. Over the course of my life, I figured out this morning, I've trained about a thousand individuals online, a lot of them, a lot of folks, and a common thing I run into is the overweight lifter um, runs into problems with muscle building, and the underweight lifter runs into problems with muscle building, and they're kind of like diametrically opposed. Did I just say diametrically? How many syllables is that? I'm a meathead. Am I allowed to say diametrically? I don't even know. All right. So like you have the overweight lifter who has a very specific problem. And you have the underweight lifter who has a very specific problem and they're diametrically opposed. They're like, they're like the same problem, but opposites. Like they live in parallel universes. Let me explain. First off, we'll start with the overweight lifter. The overweight lifter is probably pretty strong. You know, he, he might even be fuscular, fat and muscular. Uh, for those of you that hadn't heard, fuscular, fuscular, all right? And losing fat can play with your head a little bit. Can play with your head. And here's a tie-in, playing with your head. Losing fat can play with your head a little bit because you tend to lose strength. And people don't like to lose strength. People don't like to lose strength. I don't like to lose strength. It messes with your head. You feel weaker. You feel smaller. So the overweight lifter, in general, we're generalizing here, tends to not want to. They start to get this hesitancy. They don't want to lose fat. At some point, they're like, they're 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 doubting what they're doing. I'm I'm losing I'm losing I'm losing strength. You know, should I be doing this? Maybe I'll just be fuscular. Maybe I'll just be fat and muscular. And hold on to my strength. Now, you have the skinny guys, the underweight. We're, we're talking guys that are underweight, not normal weight, and not you know, not normal weight with no muscle. We're talking the underweight guys. You try to get them to eat a little bit more. Um, some uh, you know, even even the guys that are training pretty good, pr training hard. You try to get them to eat a little bit more, and they're like, mind games. I'm gonna get fat. I'm gonna get fat. Like, you could take a guy that's 130 pounds and, and give him two cheeseburgers and he feels bloated. It's like, my belly's big. I hear that a lot from underweight lifters. Your belly big because your belly, that, like, when you turn sideways, that's how wide your belly is, right? Your belly's that wide when you turn sideways. Not shaming you, just reality. That's the actual length of your belly when you turn sideways. So when you eat those two cheeseburgers, of course your belly feels big. <laughs> so look, the underweight guys tend to not want to build, uh, put on weight because they fear they're going to get fat. And in the process, all it's doing is they're, they're cutting their results. They're cutting their muscle building results down dramatically because they're unwilling to do what it takes. They have a fear and it's not a rational it's not a rational fear. So the underweight has a, an underweight lifter has this unrational fear that they're just going to get fat, right? Uh, you know, come on. The reality is you're not going to be 132 pounds the rest of your life. You know, you're just not. I've never run into a trainee that's normalized adult weight that's 132 pounds. You're going to have to gain weight. You can't recomp. You know, you can't go from 132 pounds and no muscle to 132 pounds at natural potential at five foot ten. It's impossible. It's impossible. You know, you'd have like negative 15% body fat. So it's 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 a mind game. And the overweight lifter is playing a different mind game. It's equal but opposite. They don't want to lose fat. Okay, the underweight lifter doesn't want to get fat. The overweight lifter doesn't want to lose fat because he doesn't want to lose strength. I'm going to tell you, you all need to meet in the middle and give yourself, give, give each other a giant hug. Okay, because you're just wasting your time. You're wasting your time by being irrational, by, by, by not like all of us want to look good, right? I want to get strong. 
but I want to look good. If you want to look good, you're going to need to do what it takes to get there. The, the underweight lifter, you're going to have to put on weight. The overweight lifter, you're going to have to pull off weight. Okay? Give it to the underweight lifter. Do something. Right? But you're going to have to meet in the middle. You're going to have to do what it takes. To the overweight lifter, fuck your strength. Okay? Fuck your strength. I was 346 pounds on my strongest. You know what your, your three rep max, you know what your three, uh, three lift total is when you're dead? It's zero. Don't remain overweight. It takes years off your life. Um, it, it has so many possible complications from tr pre-diabetes to the fact that you might not even be able to wipe your ass comfortably. Okay, let's get over that. And that fupa is growing. That fupa is growing. Once you get over 25%, that fupa is growing. And you're losing some of your manhood to that fupa. Who wants to, who wants to lose that battle, right? We want every inch we can take. We want every inch we can have. All right. A little bit crude, but it's reality. Come on, it's reality. And the underweight guy, look, you know, you you need to put on some muscle. I'm going to be, uh, you know, just real with you. You know, you, you need to at least get up to Jeff Cavalier level, you know, where you're 160s. Because... You're not, you're not going to get fat if you train properly and do a proper bulk. You're not going to get fat. And you ain't going to be squatting 400 pounds. You ain't going to be benching 300 pounds at 132 body weight unless you're one of the best in the world. And that's unlikely to happen. So I want to make this video to kind of rattle your cages a little bit. Uh, to the underweight guy, a smart controlled bulk isn't going to get you fat. You might gain, hey, you gain five pounds of fat while gaining 20 pounds of muscle. That's a good trade-off, and you're going to look 10 times better than you are now. And to the overweight lifter, you lose 50 pounds off your squat or 50 pounds off your bench, but gain years to your life, on your life. Get that FUPA war back under control and um, get that pre-diabetes back under control. And then you can start building strength again. Then you can start doing the same thing the underweight lifter is doing, having a smart, lean, clean bulk. And if you guys are interested in some more information on how to bulk properly without getting fat, check out my book. Head over to superlivingtoday.com and search bulk. So guys, hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. If you made it this far in this video and have yet to subscribe to my channel, Please do, I'd appreciate the support. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.